Hello everybody, I'm Andrew Howard from Boning, New Zealand. Today we're leaving from Gulf Harbour down to West Haven and we're taking the new Swift Trawler 41 sedan from Beneteau. Can't wait to see how this thing goes in the sea, so let's go. So I'm out on the back of the duckboard. It's a very large duckboard. It's big enough for setting up for davits, for a tender. Uh, what I really do like though, because I like my diving, is the ladder, the boarding ladder that's under this hatch under here, which is pretty cool. It's tucked away, but it's safely out of the way when we're not being used. They've thought about where the hot water shower is, which is up under here. What if I can get it out? Here we go. And uh, just superb. And really wide walkthrough as well so that uh, if you carry gear or toys or paddle boards that you're putting onto the roof uh, you've got capacity and space. The seat here that uh, probably sits about six people all up and it moves forward and back to give you more space. Um, this boat hasn't got it but it is set up to have a beautiful little teak table fold away and there's a little uh, cupboard inside that that can hide in. Also in the lazarette storage space it is so big the owners of this boat have got electric scooters hiding in there as well as all their um, other toys and, and boating needs. It's fantastic. So I'm just in the galley and I just want to show how easy the indoor outdoor flow is. So you're just connected to everybody on the boat when you, when you are the one doing the dishes or you're cooking, cooking the meal. And it's got a three hob burner, beautiful oven. What I really love is the rubbish bin. Rubbish bins aren't the sexiest of things but just to have it so easy connected just there and it's really easy to remove from underneath, fantastic. The storage of plates and things in here, they're all lined up like little soldiers. It's just so easy and safe, it's great. And then a twin sink. So if you spend any time on a boat with a single sink, you always wish you had a twin sink. And it's got an excellent fridge freezer that's just so easy to get to. Um, it's pretty sizable. Another cracking feature of this vessel are these handles all over the vessel to make moving around much safer. So I'm at the dining table. This dining table easily fit four to six adults. Certainly big enough to hold a lot of plates, a lot of meals, a lot of conversations. A uh, really cool feature of this is, like many boats, this uh, table drops down and, and creates another double berth. But they've done an excellent job of thinking about privacy for this berth. And out of the factory it comes with, and I don't know if you can see it through the, through the video, but the curtain rail that just goes right around this area so that whoever's sleeping in here is private too. Excellent, well done. There's excellent ventilation through the sliding windows, um, the rear doors that open up and two large sunroofs that are just excellent flow. So there's quite a few options for this vessel, uh, whether um, this helm station is a swivel helm station so that it can pivot and, and face the dining table, or whether you put a washing machine and dryer system in here or a diesel heater or air conditioning, uh, there's quite a lot of options. The test boat doesn't have most of those, uh, which is a beautiful, beautifully simple um, and I quite like that. Um, but there's certainly plenty of choices to be made. So the helm station is, is quite large and easy to see from any sitting or standing position. A single MFD which is, uh, which is great. Easy to work with buttons, the twin thruster controls are just there and the controls for the Yanmars are here. Most of the time you'd be running them in sync mode so you're only using one throttle controller at any given time. Um, but it's easy to control your speeds and the trim tabs are pretty responsive and getting the bow up or the bow down depending on your sea state conditions and load. So on test day the weather conditions changed um, as the wind got up much more of a southwesterly 15 to 20 uh, knots and we're heading down into Auckland City and it's certainly beam on for a, for a large run of it. Uh, we cruised along at about 20 knots and each engine was running at 50 litres per hour. Uh, which for an 11 tonne, 12 tonne boat is, um, is pretty good. The vessel's pretty happy at that pace, um, it's probably faster than most people need to use, but it was pretty good and certainly had more, more top end speed than, uh, than we gave it today. The hull performed as I would have expected today, um, went straight, which they don't always go straight, um, turned pretty sharply and didn't drag, or, and there was no cavitation at all, as you would expect with shaft drives, but she handled pretty well. Reversing up, she likes reversing in a straight line, and really easy to um, feather the engines to move around a little bit more, or use the thrusters, because uh, they're certainly pretty grunty on board. 
The twin Yanmar 8LV 320s on shaft drives were a highlight. These eight cylinder engines each output 320 horsepower, produce torque with bite, snappy acceleration, and excellent response to throttle commands. Being a trawler style, it's set up for walk around on both sides. And on the starboard side, it's a bit wider, but also it's got a very large door for getting through to the, the console. And it's, um, look, I'm gonna say it's over a meter wide, which is quite unusual on a vessel that's 40, 41 foot. And normally they're quite narrow. So I love this because it is wide, makes it easy to get in and out quickly. And um, anyone with mobility challenges will, will love this. The other feature too is right here, there's a, there's a door through to, I walk onto a, the deck or the wharf, but right behind where I'm standing is the, uh, where, or right in front of me are where the fueling stations are as well. So twin fuel tanks both filled on this side. So up on the bow now, and it's set up to have a full day bed here, which is here, but it's a bit too windy for us to put out today. But what a main feature here is just how flat it is. The surface is flat to walk around, um, work out the anchor, but just a flat space. So it just makes it so safe. The anchor winch setup is fantastic because it has such a long drop down. Once it goes through the Lumar winch, it drops down to over a metre below, so it's not bundling on itself. So this boat being the sedan is set up for, um, for using it for storage and probably jumping off more than anything else. Um, fantastic setup for paddle boards, kayaks, all out of the way because there's walk around grip ready for the kids to jump off or quite frankly the dads as well. I'm down in the master cabin and there's some cool features I really like from a usability perspective. It's an island walk around double bed, so that gets big ticks from me. But one other cool feature is that on one side is the head, so the toilet and the basin, and on the other side is the shower. They're separate. Now that's something in a vessel this size we don't see very often. And from a usability perspective, I just think it's great use of space. On the starboard side is the day head and shower facilities. And they're all combined and uh, again, full height, easy access. So this is the smallest of the cabins. There's plenty of space to stand up and get changed in here, but also it's a quite a long single bed. On the port side is the other cabin that has currently set up with twin singles, but easily set up to have a double. Safety is paramount in the design of the Swift Trawler 41 sedan, with numerous features and systems to ensure peace of mind for passengers and crew alike. The vessel is robustly constructed and adheres to regular safety standards. This vessel has much to recommend it for a couple or a family. The Swift Trawler 41 sedan is a versatile, well-rounded yacht that combines style, comfort and performance. Its thoughtful design, wide array of features and reliable performance make it a compelling choice for short excursions and extended voyages both. With its blend of tradition and innovation, the Swift Trawler 41 sedan sets a standard for modern trawler yachts. John Acklesane from Boating New Zealand. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you'd like to see more of these videos, please subscribe to our channel.